All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. And Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Who this world refers to as Jesus Christ, Baha Shum, is in the name. Racha HaKodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity Shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And the title of this video, Lord Willing. Is going to be uh, ever learning and not able to come into the truth. All right. Because, you know, what sparked me to do this video, you know, yesterday, you know, uh, this guy that, you know, he, he knows about, you know, what's, uh, what's to come, you know, and I told him that he was an Israelite, you know, he received it, but yeah, he, he still finds his ways to scoff, you know, and Yesterday he was like, "Man, man, ain't nobody ready for uh, ready for what's to come except me, you know, because he has he has a farm, he has stuff stocked up, you know, you know. So he 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 thinks that he's ready, you know. And and when he was saying that, he was real proud, man, you know. But I held my peace, you know. I ain't say, man, I'm ready, you know, because man, because at the end of the day, you know." I know that, you know, Lord willing, I am ready, you know, you brothers as well, you know, so I really know no point in saying anything, but he's not ready, man. He's not, he's not spiritually ready, man. All right. Cause the scripture says wisdom and knowledge is going to do, is going to be the stability of our, of our times. All right. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. You know, I actually start with that. You know, niggas actually think just cause they got a bunker. You know, they got a farm, they got stuff stocked up that they're ready. They're ready for the times to come, okay? This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse, I'm going to start at 5. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh Shai is his treasure. See, the fear of the Lord, man, that's going to keep us going. Wisdom and knowledge, all right, that's going to keep us stable. That's going to keep us stable in, the, in these times, to, uh, in these times to come. Not your farm, okay, not your money. Wisdom and knowledge, all right, and ultimately. The favor and the mercy of the Lord, man. Without the favor and mercy of the Lord, you, you, you're liable to to die any any at any time, man. It's the mercy of the Lord that that keeps us alive, man. All right, not our own doings. It says, "Behold, their valiant ones shall cry without." The ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. You know, all you people that saying peace, peace, you know, and all you mighty men, you're going to, uh, you're going to cry there bitterly, man, because you're going to be, it's going to be people that's going to be out here without food. All right. You're going to be without shelter. Okay. You're going to be without the things that you stocked up for, because that's ultimately for the elect, man. All right. You know, so let me get, uh. I wanted to start out with that Isaiah, uh, but I had a few more precepts written down here. And uh, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Now, actually, let me uh, want to have this picture on the slideshow. Let me just show this here. It says, uh, no, uh, or, no, or Cole, I think it's no Kardashian. What the fuck her name is? Uh, no, or Cole Kardashian uh, shows off fully stocked pantry in her doomsday bunker. All right, this was a, 
an article you know that one of the brothers has sent this was march 9th all right so just yesterday um it says millionaires are building doomsday bunkers in their mansions as world war three threatens america's shores man all right, so you see these millionaires that are building doomsday bunkers in their mansions, man. All right, so these, uh, I'm not sure if this underground, about to be underground, you know, underground bunkers stocked with food, all types of food, you know, to keep them stable in these times, man. All right, so that's what these, you even seen it on that one cartoon saw, uh, called Inside Jobs. All right, you know, uh, these, these millionaires, these billionaires, these trillionaires, all right, they have bunkers, man, because they know the times that we're coming into. They know that this uh, this economy is going to collapse. They're going to be, it's going to be uh, martial law in these streets, man. They know the times that we're coming into. You sheeps, all right, you people that are not focused on the Lord, you don't know what times that we're coming into, man. But these elites, they know, and they put it uh, within in these subliminal messages, man. Okay, but you people continue to laugh, and you continue to scoff, and you, and you continue to be uh, uh, ignorant of the signs and of the times that we're that we're in. All right, World War Three. You people laugh at that. Okay, you people are ignorant of the times that we're coming into. That's why it's going to hit you people so hard. All right, it's going to hit you hard because you're not expecting it, man. It always hurts more when you don't expect we we don't expect something. All right, it always hurt hurts you hurts you more. Just something like like if somebody were to hit you off guard, it's gonna hurt more than the somebody to hit you and you know it's coming. All right, so uh, let me pull my other precepts here. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter fifteen, and starting at the top, it says. Then said the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah unto unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death. And such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity, man. You know, so if you're if you're uh, predestined to die in famine, you're going to die in famine. It doesn't matter if you have a farm. It doesn't matter if you have an underground bunker. Okay. It doesn't matter if you stocked up on all your goods, man. Okay. If you're prepared for the sword, all right, if, if if you're lotted out to die, you're gonna die, man. It doesn't matter what you what you're preparing for, man. You see? To such as are for the famine to the famine. You know, so you can be kidnapped from your bunker, okay? If you if you're lotted to go to the famine, you're gonna go to that famine, man. Alright, you're gonna starve to death, man. It's such as are for the captivity to the captivity. You know? And we ain't captivity now, you know, so what's gonna be that captivity, you know, in the times to come? Okay, you if you locked up in prison, man. You see? So the main focus, you know, is to fear the Lord, man. You know, if we fear the Lord, we know that ultimately the Lord, Yahweh about Shemiah Shah, he's in control of everything, man. All right, so we might as well just serve him. All right, because the Lord, he ain't going to leave you confounded if, you, if you're if you serving him in truth and sincerity, man. Let me pull this real quick. All right, because somebody can, make, can uh, hear that scripture and say, hey, and it don't matter if I serve the Lord or not, man. I'm a, I'm a, if, I'm, if I'm destined to go to this world, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a die. If I'm destined to go to famine, I'm going to starve to death. So why should I serve the Lord? You know, but that's not, that's not true because... The Lord doesn't leave his servants confounded, man. This is Syrac or Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise 
that called upon him. You see? You know, so just playing like the devil's advocate here. You know, if you're serving the Lord, man, he's going to he's going to protect you, man. OK, he's going to have that hedge over you. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. It says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth in into it and is safe. You see? So the righteous is gonna is gonna you know run into this truth, you know, a run run under that covering of Yahweh by Shai. That's that hedge that we need, man. It says the righteous man, it says the righteous runneth into it and is safe. You know? So the righteous is gonna, you know, come under that uh that banner of Yahweh by Shai. You know, that hedge, that protection. Uh let me get this one here. Psalms 91. And I'm going to start at the top. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, man. All right, so under the under the covering of Yahweh Hashem Shah, we're gonna be good, man. Okay, if you're seeking Yahweh Hashem Shah, you're gonna be we're gonna be good. You know, as long as we're serving him in truth and sincerity, we're going to be straight, man. You know, Lord willing. And uh, Isaiah 65 and verse 12, it says, Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes. And did choose that wherein I delighted not. You see, so the Lord is going to number you people to the sword, numb you, uh, give you over to famine, okay, give you over to uh, being cast in these uh, FEMA camps and dying, okay. He's going to give you over to death. Why? All right, because when He called, you didn't choose to come to Him, man. You ignored Him. You 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 misused the prophets, man. So why should the Lord uh, cover, uh, have that covering over you, all right? If you if you ignored all His words, man, you 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 loathe the law of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah. Why should He deliver you? I'm gonna read it again. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I call, ye did not answer; when I spake, ye did not hear. So you didn't you didn't try to hear. You can try to hearken unto the uh, unto the prophets, man. It says, "But did evil before mine eyes, okay? Making mockery of the Lord, man. All right, you you, you still chose to get line up. You still chose to keep your dreadlocks, man. You still chose to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, to have sex with other men's wives, okay? You still chose to be uh, a Muslim. You still chose to believe in Jesus." Okay, you you still chose to do whatever your heart desired, man. You didn't you didn't uh, try to humble yourself before the Lord. Okay, it says, but did, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not, man. Okay, so you you, you chose whatever your, whatever was your heart's desires, man. All right, instead of choosing, instead of choosing the right way, all right, which is. Coming after the, uh, which is coming back unto Yahweh by Shemi Shah, keeping these laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, reading, studying. If you're a man, going out to the highways and byways and teaching. Okay. It says, therefore, verse thirteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants 
shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed, man. See, you know, men of the Lord, you know, few women, okay, and the, and the, uh, and the elect children as well, we're going to be taken care of, man. All right, because we we chose to to come after the Lord, man. That's 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 that reward, man. To be taken care of in a, in a time where it seems like you know, man, the only way that you can survive is by having a uh, having a higher higher power, man. Okay, and that's what the Lord is going to do. The Lord is going to uh, find ways to feed us, find ways to keep us able to drink. Okay. All right. And he's going to keep us to be rejoicing, man. Okay. Because it says here in the, in the book of Job. Job 5 and verse. I'm going to start at 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the powers of the sword, man. And we're, we're in that time of war now. Okay? But the ultimate, you know, when when all hell is breaking loose and World War Three is at its full effect, okay, he's going to save us from that power of the sword, man. From death, man. And famine, he shall redeem thee, man. Okay? He's going to find ways to feed us, man. All right? You know, you, know, you may have uh, an animal come bring you food. Okay, you may have an actual angel come bring you food, man. Okay, the Lord is going to be limitless, limitless, you know, with uh, uh, with the things that He's going to do, man. It says, "Thou shalt be," verse twenty-one. "Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue; neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, man." Okay, you know, you know, we're not going to be afraid when martial law kicks off. Okay, it might be a slight, a slight scare. You know, when these nuclear missiles is coming down, but ultimately, man, through the spirit, we're going to have faith that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to beam us up as those nuclear missiles is coming down, man. It says, verse 22, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. So that's that rejoicing part, man. We're going to be rejoicing in the times to come. It says, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. These animals are going to be let loose out here, man. But we're going to be, uh, at, the animals are going to be at peace with us. All right, because they recognize spirits. It says, "Be it says, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee." It says in verse twenty-four. It says, "And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and 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 thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall and shall not sin." You know, the point was at twenty-three. You know, really. You know, you know, but we're gonna be we're gonna be safe in that time, man. Okay, the Lord is gonna have that protection over us, man. So that's and that's one reason why we do this thing, man. All right, so we can be protected in the times that we're coming into. All right, we do this thing first and foremost because we love Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, man, and we want to see righteousness put back on earth. Okay, and we want salvation. Okay. And we want to be we want to be protected in these troubling times that's coming, man. Okay, we really we truly fear the Lord. You know, we we know that the Lord controls all things, man. So we got to serve Him, and then He's going. He, the Lord loves them that love the, that love Him, man. Okay, it's a two way street. The Lord just don't don't love you, and you don't do nothing back, man. All right, you got to show your love towards Him as well. This is Second Timothy. Uh, chapter three, and I'm gonna start at the top. It says no, it says this. Know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. These are troubling times. It says for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. You know, I'm going to touch on, uh, you know, being proud, man. Uh, all you proud niggas are going to be humbled, man. You're going to be extremely humble in that day. Okay, the Lord is going to make this, the Lord going to make everybody humble, all right, you know, in, in, in the days to come, man. The day of the Lord, everybody's going to be humbled, man. You know, that's how, that's how terrible it's going to be. 
when everybody humbled, man, that's that's how you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a terrible time, man. So you people could be proud and, and boast now. Okay, you can boast in your wickedness. All right, you can be proud that you have a bunker, that you have a farm, okay, that you have guns stocked up. You can be proud in that, man. Scripture says, Thou shalt not should not trust in my bow. All right, we only trust in you, how about Shemir Rashad, not in carnal weapons. All right, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through the, uh, uh, but are spiritual, man. They're mighty through the uh, pulling down of strongholds, man. All right, so our weapon is this scriptures, man, these words. It says, verse three, without natural affection, truth breakers, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despises the those that are good <laughs> you know people hate this truth they hate they hate, they hate the men of the lord traitors heidi high-minded and that's how you know we're at the end as well all right because we're on a hit list of for esau all right you know despises of those that are good man you know we're we're we're, we're doing good works man okay and they, and, and they despise it Traitors, Heidi, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from from such turn away. You know, we got to turn away from people like that, you know, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, man, you know. It says from such turn away. It says, for, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with divers' lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, man. You know? So that's what, you know, not like these elites, they already know, you know, but these, these, these peons, you know, that think that they're on a level, you know, just because they got a... They got they got guns stocked up. They got food stocked up for the times that come, and they think they're on a level, man. You know, yet you're ever learning. You know, you, you you're able to learn all these different things, you know, but you're never able. To, excuse me, but you're never able to come into the true knowledge of this, of the of the Bible, man. All right, which is going to really keep you stable, man. All right, the knowledge of guns, okay, wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High, man. Okay, so you can learn about, you know, these different uh, conspiracy things. Okay, you know, <laughs> you know, because a guy, man, I'm kind of tagging him, man, but the guy at my work, man, he, he's very knowledgeable, man. I give him that, man. All right, you know, about uh, like, um, like his fluoride in the water, you know, pretty much like. Like the simple things, you know, but yeah, your common person you may not know, like fluoride in the water, fluoride in toothpaste, you know, so-called quote unquote conscious things about health. OK, but yet still smoke cigarettes, you know, people like that, man, you know, think they so smart, but yet smoke cigarettes. OK, believe that Mother Nature is God. You know, ever learning, but never, ever, never able to come into the full knowledge of the truth, man. All right. Which is knowing the names of the Heavenly Father, knowing the breakdowns of different scriptures, man. OK, guys like that, they never come into that ability, you know, but they but they think they're on a the level, man. The Lord going to put people like that to death, man. You know, lest you repent, man. OK, but those people like that, they be so proud. They be thinking they got it. All right, to the Lord, bust your bubble, man. The Lord going to bust a lot of you people's bubble in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, and then you're going to have to know prophecy, man, to be able to understand what's going on. You see? You know, because guys like that, you know, they they didn't know about the times that we're coming into, but they they think the rest of the world is going to, is going to, uh, is going to, you know, we're going to live on forever in Esau, in Esau society, you know, and like a, like a post-apocalypse, you know. You know, the Lord is going to intervene. The Lord is going to destroy America with, nu with nuclear missiles. 
and we're going to be and, and the Lord he's going to build up a new kingdom man and the so-called blacks Hispanics, and Native Americans the Israelites we're going to rule after that man you see these people they, they think they got all the knowledge but they, they can't tell you uh, what's to come after the apocalypse okay so-called apocalypse or what's to come after you know martial law okay but we know what's to come after man we can tell you you know we can tell you about the future man that's what prophecy is being able to tell you about the future man we can do that because we have the understanding of the scriptures man you know but these people that that's that have this worldly wisdom you don't understand the future man you don't have the answers all right you know so with that you know lord willing this video is edifying. I'm going to close with that. You know, give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakhar Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Until the next lesson, I say Shalom and the Baba Ba. Shalom.